Okay, audio check. Quick audio check. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and do a sync check. So one, two, one, two. And then one, two, one, two. It looks like we are good to go.
Hello, good morning, good afternoon. Hope everyone is doing well today. Um, nothing too crazy besides as we're playing Mario Kart, we're gonna be answering questions because I kind of want to get back into like the more just chatting type vibes when we play Mario Kart. So, as y'all know, I bought this book last week, I posted it on um. Uh, on Twitter and TikTok, but it is a thousand and one questions. And what I'm gonna do is we're gonna flip to a random page and then answer questions. And then after we finish the question, we'll highlight it. Thank you. I like this tank top a lot. I'm wearing like something underneath it because like I think it's cute and also it's kind of trippy. Like th this V shape. If this would have lined up, dude, it would be literally perfect. But thank you. I appreciate the compliment. Um, I'm only wearing it because it's not that cold today. So. Um, oh, also, I was so excited because if you guys haven't, I've been linking the extensions link in chat because I want y'all to download third-party emotes if you are on desktop and if you have Google Chrome. Because, like, all the third-party emotes are amazing. And I finally found a chat overlay that has the seven TV emotes enabled. Look, even if you don't have the extension, you can see the um, seven TV emotes on screen now. So I figured that out last night. <laughs> <laughs> so, because I know some people are on mobile, so if you're on mobile, you'll see you'll see the emotes on screen. Oh yeah. Um, as we announced yesterday, we are doing a Mario Kart tournament on Sunday at 11 a.m. Roll call will be at 10. That's when the code will be shown to chat. So, yeah, that is gonna be linked in chat throughout stream. So that video highlight is just explaining more rules and just more like deep dive into like the tournament it's nothing too crazy it's just like a, a regular tourney no, no no sweats no pros it's just with viewers so that's gonna be on sunday anyway uh, thank you everyone for being here let's go ahead and get started okay i think i want to do computer games first oh it's avi yeah i saw you change your user i like this it's like television it's good it's good avi Oh no, we have another Avi in chat. Frick! <laughs> it's okay. Or like, Avi, Ave. Oh no, oh no, what are we gonna do, guys? <laughs> well, hi, Avi, welcome to chat. Welcome to stream, I haven't seen you in a bit, but thank you for coming in and saying hi. <clears throat> okay. Alex is fine? Okay, let's do Alex. <laughs> I'm sorry, hon. Okay, I went into like another stream. And like my my nickname for chat is like peace because like peace in right. Uh, let's do this one. <laughs> and a homie, one of their mods, their name was peace. So then the 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 streamer couldn't call me peace, and I was like low low key annoyed. But it happens, it happens. Okay. Uh, <laughs> okay, I'm getting the prediction up because we're not doing a challenge today. But I'm setting up the prediction, and I put top one. <laughs> Instead of first. Okay, prediction is up, guys. Go place your bets. It is for first place. Gentle reminder, the prediction is for first place. Okay? This is 200cc regular comms. I should be able to do it. <laughs> Hello, welcome to the chat. Hope you're doing... <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hope you're doing well today. Um, If you have any preferred nicknames, please tell me. Because I don't know if I can call people assassin in chat. I think that'd be a little bit sus, guys. <laughs> Hope you're doing well. Okay, we got 20 points in the lead. Let's go. Any doubters? Doubters mod check. Oh, save. Okay, Shy Guy is my main build. <laughs> Hi, Lunar. Welcome to chat. Hope you're doing well today. If you have any preferred nicknames or pronouns, make sure to tell me. I saw you fall this morning. Let's go. So welcome to chat. And you're believing a first-time chatter and you're believing already? Let's go. I mean, Han, you don't know me yet. We, we take lots of L's here. <laughs> Prime an example, an L right there. We are going to be practicing online later, because we are doing the tourney on Sunday. But we're going to warm up with computers, as usual. So I can feel a little bit good about myself. <laughs> Okay, I think we'll start with the questions after this race. Because <laughs> I, I, I forgot to warm up before stream again. Like, I think I just- I played two games of Pokemon Unite and I lost both of them and then I was really sad, so I, I just did- I was like, do I want to stream today? 
Like, these losses are just way too much. But you know, we're here. We're here. I was like, I cannot let chat down. Okay, we have a ginormous lead right now, guys. There is no way I can throw. Maybe I can, we don't know. Easy, it's an easy W, guys. <clears throat> to fill my water before stream. Okay, let's go ahead and get up our next our first question of the day. Well, do we want to start off deep and heavy? Let's start off a little bit deep, guys. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna think about my answer. Oh, prediction! Frick! Hey, prediction is up. Go police your bets, chat. Okay, the first question of the day <laughs> is how do you deal with doubt? So I personally, I don't, I don't tend to, to regret things. Because I have anxiety brain, so whenever there's like any type of situation, whether it's social, or like any time I have to make a choice, I always think of like, all of the possible choices I can make and then all the outcomes. Like, I'm very- Okay, I'm low-key low super manipulative. Like, anybody who knows me? <laughs> okay, I'm not crazy, I'm not crazy, but like, I- I tend- I'm very calculated with what I say in my responses to people. So because of that, like I said, like, I think of every single possible scenario that can happen based on my actions, right? So typically, I don't regret a lot of my choices that I've made, because to me, regret means that you wish it didn't happen, or it hadn't happened, right? But to me, I usually stand by all my decisions because, in my head, I'm like, the Megan of the past thoroughly thought out that decision at the time, and that's what she thought was best in that moment, right? So I, I tend not to, like, regret or doubt anything. Like, the only time I have, like, self-doubt is when <laughs> I feel like I didn't think things through enough. Oh, Frank. Oh, no. We're in third. <laughs> Come on. Hey, it's only lap three. You can catch up. Easy. This is computers. We can do it. <laughs> What's cool about this book of questions is that, like, 25% of them are, like, deep and heavy, and the rest are, like, kind of chill. And, like, fun. <laughs> Like, I think one of them was like, what's your favorite type of ice cream? <laughs> but it's probably gonna be a while till we finish this book, because this is a thousand questions. Yeah, you do the same, yeah. Like... Oh, no! Frick, come on, come on! Oh my god, that was close. That was way too close. Okay, we still won. We got a W. Because, <clears throat> like, there's so many different levels to, like... Just... Like, critical thinking, right? <laughs> they asked you what your favorite type of ice cream was? <laughs> okay, was it at an ice cream shop? Because that to me is the o literally the only reason why they would ask you. <laughs> uh, I, all, okay, like, all the interviews I've gone to have been casual, but like, nothing... Like, they just- they would ask me like, the standard questions, you know? Like, nothing too crazy. Hey, pr new prediction is up for this track. Go place your bets, chat. Oh, what ice cream you would be? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> that that's wild, man. Oh, okay, what did you answer then, Alex? I'd probably be Rocky Road, because I'm a hot mess. <laughs> I'm debating which like character I want to play for the tournament. Cause I'm I'm not letting chat choose, because I feel like that's not fair. Like, I think Shy Guy would be good, because I like the speed, but I think Princess Peach would probably be the best, because, like, she's slightly heavier. 
Moon Mist? Is that like a sherbet? That sounds like a sherbet flavor, because I've never heard of that. Like, I, I wish I could justify going to, like, indie, or not independent, like, independently run, like, ice cream parlors, but they're always so expensive. Like, even going to, like, Baskin Robbins is insanely expensive, too. Oh, fuck, I thought that was a bomb! Because <laughs> Isabel just, like, skirted in front of me. I don't know if anyone remembers, but the last time I got Baskin Robbins was last summertime, and they had like this lime shake flavor, and it had like this like gelatin syrup in it, and it it, it was like marketed as like a booger. It was like the weirdest shit, but it was kind of good. I don't know. Usually, like fast food promo items are wild. Easy. Dude, I'm doing so good today. I think Shy Guy is my guy. <laughs> oh, like, exactly. Like, if I'm on vacation, like, I want to try, like, all the bougie shit. Or, like, all, like, the kind of niche restaurants. Because, you know, when you see on, like, TikTok or Instagram, like, the really, like, fancy, like, ice cream sundaes. Like, I want to try those so bad. <clears throat> Oh, what was it? I saw a video. I'm gonna do a prediction is up, guys. But it was based- Oh, I think it was like- It was Disney, I think. But they had like, a pancake? No, they put like, pancake batter on a waffle maker and they put a scoop of ice cream and then they pressed it. So there was like, ice cream inside the waffle? Like, that looked really freaking good. <clears throat> I think at our, like, state fair, they had like, fried ice cream. I never tried it, but everyone else said it was kind of mid. We got Isabel. Okay, should we go for the cut? Oh! <laughs> I turned horribly there. forward talking about like companies like making prides of mainstream like i i get the appeal but it just feels fake you know what i mean like everyone was shitting on like the target clothesline with like the rainbow suit <laughs> but it's just weird i don't like it like it just feels so disingenuous That's a whole nother debate for another day. <laughs> Hi Issa, welcome to stream. Hope you're doing well today. I know, like, I remember like everyone was clowning on the target line. Like everyone was memeing on it. I remember watching a YouTube video of this, this um, creator and he bought like all the clothes from the line. <laughs> Because, like, when you buy clothes from Target, it's usually in, like, shit quality, too. Like, I'd very much buy, like, um, like, pride-themed clothing from, like, an Etsy shop or something, you know? Here we get another first easy. Thank you for hosting the stream. I appreciate it, Issa. Oh, look at that three-star gold trophy, guys. Look at that. Look at that. Okay, we should try priest that I don't have three stars in yet. I forgot that I was going to do that today. Because <clears throat> I've gotten decent on most of the, the tracks in 200 now. <laughs> I got a comment on TikTok today. And the whole, like, clip was me failing, because I fell off the track, like, three times. And <laughs> one of the comments was like, How many hours in Mario Kart do you have? <laughs> and I, I think we, we, 
Let me actually see. Let me actually see. I I need to see because I think last time I checked, I had like a hundred. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, I, I didn't want to leak my code. That's why. But look, I have a hundred and fifty-five hours in Mario Kart. <laughs> Oh my god. I need to get good. Get back to Mario Kart. None of y'all are ever gonna find my freaking friend code. <laughs> I know 100% five, and I still suck as. It's because most of my clips are from online. So, like, as you can see, I'm good at 200cc computers. Like, I'm banging. Like, I am go bossing. But with online, no shot, no way I can get top six. Hey, new prediction is up, guys. Go place your bets. <clears throat> okay, we're gonna get the three star go trophy on this one. Lovely. Nice try, that guy. That guy tried to snipe me. Oh! oh! Wait, did you guys see that? I think my bananas like canceled out the ones that were on the ground. That was wild. Okay, that was bad. I usually try not to trick off that. What would you even call it? I was gonna say rod, but that's not the that's not the word. <laughs> but it's usually like hard to control your turn. I did it again. It's usually hard to control your turn, midair. Like you can't really do it. <laughs> no! Oh, fuck! I can catch up. I can do it. Item. Literally worst thing I can get. Oh man. Shoot. I, I didn't think this would get me. Thank you for looking clipping the stream. I appreciate it, Issa. Dude. Ain't no three star for this one then. Damn it. I didn't even hit. I, I fell off three times, didn't I? <laughs> See, I need to play with guardrails. Okay, new prediction is up. Go place your bets, chat. <laughs> okay, let's keep another question. This one is, do you believe in destiny? To answer everyone's question, I am not a fan of destiny. <laughs> I am a Son fan, so obviously I do not like destiny. But, I think that things happen for a reason. Because, like, I, I kind of believe in karma, but not really. In terms of, I heavily believe that if you are nice to people, people will be nice back to you. Like, I don't think there is some type of, like... RNG in the sky deciding your fate, right? Because, like, to me, a lot of your life is based on your connections, whether it be your friends, your co-workers, or the people you meet throughout your life. So, yes, it could be a matter of coincidence, but more so... Oh, okay. <laughs> I think you, yourself, have a lot of control... Not your motivation. 
But like you have you have agency in your life, right? Like you choose most of your life decisions. Yes, there are things like like your spawn point, like where you grew up, where you lived when you're growing up. You can't really choose that, right? But you still have a lot of control in like your adult life on what paths you can take. Okay. <laughs> this is not looking good now. Okay, we're only in second. I thought it was further behind, but we're only in second. Your spawn point. Yeah, because like if you grew up in a witch household, you're probably gonna have more access to like good security, like good clothing, like you probably can afford to buy new shoes. Unlike somebody who grew up low income, who gets free lunch, you know? Like there's also like less stress associated with higher income families. Of, like zooming okay, it's fine we still got first we still got first <laughs> we have 69 in doubt good one chatters <laughs> okay a lot of the questions on this page are a little bit too deep a little bit too heavy so we're gonna turn a page okay this one's funny Okay, new prediction is up. Go blaze your bets, chat. Okay, let's find a good one. Cafeteria is open. Do you get to chill out there then, now, Issa? If so, that's pretty far go. <clears throat> I, I can, I can never do this line properly. And I did not mean to throw the red behind me. That was a no. Okay, I can see why I don't have a three-star gold trophy in this screen. Whoa! Jesus Christ! <laughs> Patch. Yeah, I saw you submitted to the You Laugh You Lose last night. I appreciate you taking the time to do that. But we'll be doing that on Sunday. Sunday, Sunday. Oh yeah, gentle reminder, if you haven't already, we are doing a viewer submitted You Laugh You Lose exclamation YL, YL in chat. To, to get a link to that Google form. The missions are due on Friday, so you guys only have two days left to do it, if you haven't already. One is three minutes? Okay. Well, my mods are gonna vet it, so if it's good enough, then she'll keep it in. If not, then we're gonna skip it. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. No exceptions. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Cause I can't watch the videos so because it's gonna be a blind react. Frick! It's okay. I'm paying off the mods. <laughs> you you can pay me off as well. Like if you if you drop some subbies, maybe or maybe we can make an exception. I don't know. <laughs> Wait, did I get first? Wait, I I literally can't remember. Okay, there were- I'm gonna delete the prediction because I, I literally can't remember. There was no points anyway, so no, I'm not scamming, not scamming. <clears throat> I broke- uh, yeah, I break it to a banana. Like, like I said, I'm so good at this game. <laughs> hey, new prediction is up, guys. Go place your bets. You can bribe them with the megbucks. 
No, uh, honey, cutie Lee, she's the one betting the video. She has a lot of points. You gotta use something other than that. Or maybe, maybe if you go into cutie Lee's chat and get her subs, <laughs> maybe that'll work. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that might actually, though. Uh, okay, anytime I like, I beg for subs, subs. I'm joking. I'm generally joking. I just, th I just think that bit is really funny. So I know we don't have any Oilers in chat, unless we do, maybe. I don't know, any secret Oilers? What the f- <laughs> That was rude. God, no! <laughs> See, one day I'm gonna ask for subs and then someone's gonna actually gift and I'm gonna be so freaking excited. I'd be like, the bit is worth- Let's clap Wario. Easy. <laughs> yeah, we're good, we're saved, we're fine. We're good. Hey, good job, believers. You guys won that one. I, I love how I said we're answering questions and we've only done two. <clears throat> All right, one of the questions is, have you ever violated, violated a confidence? Describe what happened. Is that like asking if I've ever like said something about an NDA, because, uh, <laughs> you shouldn't be self-reporting that shit. <laughs> See, this is why we're doing Mario Kart, because, like, I- I'm decent at Mario Kart. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, I- I'm pretty good. I, okay, I think- I think I'm solid B tier. Not A or S, I think I'm B tier at Mario Kart. Mario Kart. Like, I'm better than a normal pleb. Do we really not have three stars in this one? That's surprising. <clears throat> okay, let's go. Okay, new prediction is up, guys. Go police your bets. <laughs> I know. Smart steering is literally playing with bumpers. It's so easy. But also, once you turn off smart steering, your drifts will be so much better. I promise you. It just takes a while to get used to it. Oh, sorry. I, I can't get over my hair today. Like ah, The curls are literally perfect and I can't stop touching it. I didn't even put like curl definer in it today and it looked pretty good. Sorry, I just wanted to gloat. I wanted to brag. <laughs> Stop! I knew that was coming. I knew it. That's what I get. Okay, the lines in this track look simple, but they're supply surprisingly difficult. Frick, come on. Be back in first, easy. Yeah, that turn was decent. I know, I know, I wish the DLC tracks would come out, like, right now, but I know if, like, more came out now, I'd get bored of them. <laughs> like, I feel like the gradual releases of the DLC tracks will, like, build up hype for Mario Kart, like, over time for the past, for, uh, for the upcoming year. 
I think it was probably the best thing they could have done. Come on, give me something good! No! I meant to hold! He's fine, we got a good lead right here. There we go! There we go! Back to art class. Is it just general art, Issa, or is it like a specialized, like, design? Or ceramics? What art class are you taking right now? Horizon Mobile? <laughs> I feel it. Mobile Twitch is sucky. It sucks. Hey, new prediction is up. Go police your vets, chat. <laughs> True, valid point, Patch. Valid point. <laughs> but also... Like, the thing I did not like... ...about the DLC, like... ...just the size alone... We're, we're not gonna get Mario Kart 9 for a long time now. Like, no way. We're getting it anytime soon. So that was like the only disappointing thing... ...in my opinion about the announcement. Otherwise, like, I was excited. I was like, finally, new tracks. Because I think half the fun of Mario Kart is, like, learning the lines and, like, playing it over and over again and getting better over time. Intermediate drawing. Okay. So, like, I liked art class a lot, but I hate the concept where you have to, like, Follow specific parameters for a project. Like the way my high school art teacher approached art class was like he would give you like the skill or concept you had to do, and then you can make whatever you wanted. So like if the concept was shading or shapes, then you can make anything you wanted just based off of like the premise of shapes or shading. Like he gave a lot of his students a lot of freedom. Have you ever played Tor? I want to. I, I need to play the other Mario Kart games. What, what console is Tor on? Or is that one you have to emulate? Cause like, I'm, I'm new to gaming. Like, I, I didn't like... Play like, when I was younger. So I, I don't know lore or anything. <laughs> like, my first console was a Wii, so I don't have like the nostalgia of having like an NES. <laughs> or anything like that. Oh, that was horrible. I should have gone the other way. Oh, towards the mobile game? Oh, really? Oh. <laughs> I didn't know it was the mobile game. <laughs> Lamau. <laughs> no, I did not play the mobile game. Because when I saw like the trailer for it, I was like, mobile games are cringe. I'm not going to play it. Maybe, maybe I might try. I'll try it one day. Copium. <clears throat> hey, new prediction is up, guys. Go blaze your bets. I'm, yeah, I, I'm always fit in facts patch. Literally, I only have good takes. <laughs> Talking about me having good takes, um, one of the questions is, do you, what do people, or what do you think people will say behind your back? Well, okay, I, I genuinely think I'm funny. Like, I think I'm clever at times, because to me, good commentary or, or comedy comes, like, from a sense of wit. Like, it's very easy to be vulgar, it's very easy to be, like, trash talky, you know? But I think a lot of my bits and jokes are clever. Like, I think they are good. So, I have this, like, tinging sense of self-doubt to where people are like, Oh, Megan, you're so funny, Lamau. But then I think, like, afterwards, I I think they're lying. <laughs> I don't know. Or, like, maybe I'm just mean. Like, I'm not too good at picking up on social cues, too. So they're probably like, Oh, my God, Megan is such a bitch. <laughs> 
because like as I said earlier, I, I tend to overthink what I'm gonna say. So I always try like I I try and say what I think is the best response. But sometimes I know I say the wrong thing or I say something that is not helpful. <laughs> Because I lack that social awareness sometimes. Oh, they snagged first from us. Are these submitted questions? Oh, this is from a question book. I'll show it in a second, but as a gag. Because I was like, you know, I don't talk enough on stream. I bought a book of a thousand questions, so casually we're going to be answering them. <laughs> but I think we could do like... Uh, ask me anything as a concept for a stream, but I feel like that would be more interesting if we have more people watching, you know what I mean? Because, like, imagine we do um, an AMA, but only, like, two people submit questions. That's kind of cringe, right? Like, that's not enough content for a full segment, you know? It's kind of like how um, or, or Poggers <laughs> I think I have a Poggies emote for 7TV. Yeah, th this one is Poggies, Issa. This one's a 7TV one I just put in chat. <laughs> like, for example, for the Yulapi Loose, right now we have eight submissions, meaning one minute per video, eight times 324. So we have about like 30 minutes. So if the video length is like 30 minutes, then it's probably gonna be like 45 minutes to an hour for that segment. So that's a decent chunk of time. You know, like that's. A justifiable amount of time to like invest like to have um, my mod like bet everything have her spend time doing stuff <laughs> Cause, like I would like to do more like viewer oh, come on dude <laughs> I would like to do more like viewer interactive stuff but I feel like we're still small and I feel like stuff would be like a lot more entertaining if there's more engagement or interaction you know what I mean That's just my opinion. That's also why we don't have a Discord yet, because I don't want the Discord to be dead. <laughs> and also, I know that like Nintendo games gravitate more like younger viewers, and if I ever do have a Discord, it definitely will be 18+, plus because I don't think it's appropriate for me to be talking to minors directly. Uh, that's just my opinion. That, that is one of the big reasons why we don't have a Discord yet, because with Discord, since it's like directly talking to people, I think there's a lot more like moderation that needs to be done. IMO. <laughs> yeah, everyone can take refuge in Kiduli's Discord. <laughs> I know Issa is. <laughs> How would we A check people? I think what would we. Because, like. I think you can link your Twitch account to Discord, and I think you can verify it through there. Oh fuck! I don't know. That, that's something. That's all stuff that I need to get like figured out before I like announce anything. Cause like I don't want to just make a server and then like abandon it, you know? Come on, can I snipe him? Who got first? Oh my god, they were so far ahead. Jesus Christ. <laughs> No, I did not get first, Sag. Dude, I was doing so good, too. You can see why I don't have three stars in this one. Most of these tracks are difficult. Nah, it's fine, though. We'll get it next time. Yeah, just ask for their social number. <laughs> yeah, probably, probably. <laughs> but chatters, don't do it, don't do it. It's called joking, it's joking. We are joking, and it's called... Comedy. <laughs> and also, like, in Discord servers, like, especially the younger people, they will tend to, like, dox themselves. Like, I've heard stories of, like, people, like, sharing their report card or, like, taking pictures of their house. And it's like, hun, you cannot do that. There are crazy people online. Like, use your brain. So... It's like, it's a lot of stress that I'm not ready for, basically, is what I'm saying. Because, like, even with Twitch chat, like, I think, 
Um, yeah, Discord Zoomers are cringe. Don't say candy, just say they are cringe. <laughs> um, uh, we're literally not doing this one. Look, I have zero stars for this one. No shot. Oh, for this one too, surprisingly. Anyway. Um, I think with, like, Twitch chat, I'd rather, like, see, like, Chatter's vibes before we do the Discord as well. And also, like, just me, I'm very introverted, so I don't, like, necessarily talk into people all the time. And a lot of times with, like, Discord servers or streamers, people will be, like, more chatty if the streamer is in the server, right? We got 69 and believe, let's go, let's go. <laughs> and, like, I can't necessarily commit myself to be, like, active enough in terms of, like, I don't feel like talking today. But then I, I feel like I would be letting people down in the Discord if I'm not, like, talking every day, you know? Uh, it's just, like we said earlier, I tend to overthink things a lot. <laughs> so, I just don't want to let anyone down, you know? <laughs> yeah, this all happened to Skype, guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can never do these lines properly in 200. I'm gonna be honest. I'm, I'm always gonna be struggling. Oh my god, come on! Come on, did the Oh my god, I knew! He stopped just for me! Computers are getting too good. He's so bad at Mario. You gotta practice, Issa. All about practice, baby. I used to- Okay. I don't- I'm not horrible, but I'm decent. I used to be a lot worse. Like, six months ago. Yeah, I know! Literally, Skype was throwing during pandemic. Like, Zoom popped off. Is Skype, like, a Apple exclusive as well? Or is that on Android, too? I think because Skype, like, seemed like it was just for, like, boomers. Like, I feel like the marketing was not there. Oh my god, no items. I literally throwing! See his line, that was horrible! Dude, I yoinked that first from that guy. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> Good, we're doing good today. Imagine practicing? Honey, you got like four days to practice. You got four days. You can do it. Just do like two hours every day. That's eight hours. You can do it. <laughs> Just in the class at the... The salon. <laughs> I mean, that's gotta be good content, though. That's probably keeping everyone else amused, right? Like, any time I'm, like, there's a Zoom meeting for class, like, I never turn cam on. I'm always muted. And, like, usually my professors will have, like, the archive up the next day. So usually, I don't show up to the live, unless it's like, required. And most of the time, I just watch the recording. Cause like, it's, it's awkward. You know? <laughs> Dead as at the salon. <laughs> That that is like good content though. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. Like I love the people who have like backgrounds, or, like the green screen, like just doing the creative stuff, like making the best of a situation, you know. No way this is your favorite. Th this is literally like one of the most boring stages besides Baby Park. 
is literally just an oval. And you trick jump every five seconds. How 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 is this your favorite? Honey, that was a bad take. <laughs> you said I was saying good takes earlier? That was a bad take. <laughs> I'm missing the trick jumps, but it's fine. Oh, we are so far ahead. <laughs> Base take for me. <laughs> Keep telling yourself that. Have a good story time for this next question. It's a good one. Okay, well, good luck with your class, Issa. Do better on this assignment. Have fun critiquing other kids. Be mean. But I hope you have a good one. Thank you for coming in and chilling with us for a little bit, Issa. We'll see you next time. <laughs> okay, story time. When I was younger, like, I eat up until I was, like, 12, I used to sneak, like, candy at nighttime or sweets. Because when you're hitting puberty, you're, like, you're hungry all the time, right? And, oh, frick. Anyway, anyway. So I would, like, get cravings in the middle of the night, so I'd go into the kitchen and sneak, like, frosting or sprinkles, right? Or, like, chocolate bars. I was- okay. <laughs> Let's not make that joke. Anyway. So... One time, I like snuck sprinkles into my backpack, and it was a new backpack, right? And you know when you go to the store, they have like the little silica packets inside to like stop moisture from getting inside the product? So what happened was, the silica packet like burst inside my backpack, and the little clear like curls mixed into my sprinkles. So <laughs> I remember I came home from school, and I, I was like nibbling on the sprinkles in my backpack. And I looked at him, and I was like, what are these little clear balls? And I was like, oh shit, that's silica. And I was freaking out, because I thought it was poison. Like, because like, on the silica back, it just says, do not eat. But, so I was freaking out. I didn't want to tell my mom, because then she would know that I, I like, snuck food, right? So, <laughs> I, like, at that point, like, my stomach was hurting. Not because of the actual silica, just because, like, the anxiety. Little, like, nine-year-old Megan was already anxious when she was fucking eight years old. Uh, like, I told my mom, I was like, hey, mom, like, I, I accidentally ate silica. And she was like, what? And I'm like, yeah, it was mixed in into my lunchbox somehow, like, in the rice bowl. And she was like, no way, you're lying. I'm like, no, I, really? <laughs> so we looked it up, and apparently silica is basically harmless. Like, you still shouldn't eat it. Like, it's only gonna, like, make you grow up if you, like, eat egg an enormous amount of it. So, like, I was fine. But still, like... <laughs> It was so funny. After that, I I, I literally stopped sneaking spoon. Because I knew my mom would know. Going back to the theme of karma, that, that was karma for sneaking food, I guess. Okay, that was a massive hell. That was a fourth place. That was not good. <laughs> no, don't honey, don't no, don't do it, don't do it. It's not worth. <laughs> It was weird because, like, when I bit into it, it had, like, it was, like, liquidy, I think it was. Or kind of chew. It was either chew or liquidy. It was wild. Now we took a massive L on that track. That's sad. We could have gotten that three star, but I threw on that one. Okay, new prediction is up, guys. Go place your bets. Oh, frick. One second. Camera mod check. <laughs> Camera. Don't let stop. Oh, is she back? She back. You have audio is capturing. Let's go. Let's go. We have fixed the problem. I don't. 
I don't know why the freight the camera like glitches out. It doesn't do it often. Like it seems like it happens every other day, at least for once. You know, it's fine, it's fine. We're back, we're back. As long as the game capture doesn't glitch out, then it's fine. Cause like fixing fixing the game capture is a pain in the ass. Okay, someone told me I could do this cut without a boost. Oh, they didn't lie! Holy shit! That was cool. I had to slow down a lot more than I should have. So maybe we should just go full speed into that turn next time. I don't know if I have enough speed right now. Nope. Oh, God damn it. Definitely one of the better anti gravity stages. Come on, we're so close! Oh, look at that! Look at that! You got a first, baby! <clears throat> oh, I thought I did. I heard th thunder, but there's a plane going over. Talking about planes, <laughs> it is an hour into stream, and you guys know what time it is. It is ad time. It is time to f fulfill my contractual obligation. So you can subscribe for just four ninety nine, just five dollars a month. The cost of a single coffee. Skip your coffee this week, and you can get ad reviewing all month and super cool emotes. Ain't that sick? Ain't that hog? Or, if you have an Amazon Prime, you can link it to your Twitch account and get a free Amazon Prime subscription every month. My Twitch Prime is personally given to Scootish right now. Anyway, or if Oilers want to give subs, maybe? Imagine. <laughs> okay, we will see some of you guys in a few. <laughs> Contractual obligation time! Yep, exactly, exactly. <laughs> okay, let's get back to it. If you, get, if you guys aren't missing much, TBH. We're just seeing the loading screen now, so. One day, the ad spiel is gonna work, and I'm gonna get a million subs. <laughs> oh, we got a one star! Just because we took an L in one track, we got a one star. Dude, that sucks. <laughs> yeah, that jump was pretty crazy. Like, I usually don't go for that skip, but that one was wild. Okay, I want to do one more computer party, then we can switch to online. Let's see. Let's try this one. We have no stars in it. I don't like many of these courses. The only one I really like is DK Jungle. The other ones are kind of mid. To the H. Hate new prediction is up. Go blaze your bets. Come on. 
I hate the scores. This is literally like F tier for me. <laughs> yeah, I'm not colorblind, but the yellow bananas on the yellow sand is not a good look. God, I'm getting bored with the items already. Fine, we're only in third place. It is a okay. It, I know these are regular computers, but they're actually kind of good today. What is going on? <laughs> Seems like everyone is hitting them. Yeah, at least it's not just me. I know. I want to get into Legos personally, but I feel like I'll buy a set, play it for five minutes, and get bored as shit. <laughs> but like, as you said, some of the ads do make some of the sets look pretty cool. I remember like, I, I saw an ad for like this Lego science kit, and you were basically building, like you know that board game, The Rat Trap? Like, this is just weird contraption out of, like, Legos and all these other plastic pieces. And I was like, that was kind of cool. Because <laughs> at the time, I was baby sitting. And I was like, oh, dude, the kid would love that. I was going to go to the store and buy it for them, but I decided not to. Because, <clears throat> like, I wasn't a Legos kid when I was growing up. Because my mom was like, no way we're buying them. No shot. Oh, yeah. Well, like, we had... <laughs> I remember we had two board games of Rat Trap because we'd always get our board games second hand. And of course when you buy games second hand, there's always gonna be missing pieces. <laughs> so anytime we wanted to play Rat Trap, we had to break out both boxes just so we had enough pieces to play. should change to like a slightly heavy character. Missing pieces build character. Exactly. Except if it's a puzzle, then it's just never gonna be fun. Not nearly as satisfying. No, no, I, I missed it! Wrong way. Hi, Rainy. Welcome to the chat. Hope you're doing well today. Oh my god. I'm gonna get first. I'm gonna do it. Okay, I'm not going for the skip here. Not worth. Oh my god. Okay, we came back. I think we had, I think, like six for a little bit, but we got first. We got first. It's fine. Totally clutched. Let's go ahead and find another question. Can I... Can I show you guys one of the questions? This this one is crazy. This one is actually crazy. Hi, welcome to chat. Absolution, hope you're doing well today. If you have any preferred nicknames or pronouns, make sure to tell me. Okay. I, I need to show you guys this question. This is a question from this book of questions, right? This one is freaking wild. Number 606. How are you different now than you were before September 11th, 2001? What the fuck, dude? That what? <laughs> um, <laughs> I was a little baby, so... That, yeah, big oof. That was... <laughs> um, that was... <laughs> oh my god. 
That was crazy. <laughs> My god. Well, I was a little baby, so I have no memory of it. I, I had to be, because I was born 99. I think I had to be like two. Yeah, I was literally two as well. Like, I remember... I, okay, I have no memory of this. But my parents would tell me, right? So apparently my mom was at work. And my dad was home. Laying, like, laying on the floor. With me and my sister. Because we were both, like, babies. And he, like, watched it on TV as it happened. But that's, like, the only memory I have of it. <clears throat> anyway, I, I don't know how it's changed me personally. But definitely, like, security measures have increased. Surveillance state. I think it's a little bit extreme, but... The, I think the event itself gave justification for the American government to have stricter surveillance policies. And a lot of people who are younger, like Zoomers, only lived in that world, so they don't know any different. Anyway... <laughs> That's a wild question. Oh my god. Okay, this book did say some of the questions would get deep, but that one is crazy. Oh, what, okay, what, like, the biggest thing that happened after 9-11, my mom worked for the airline. Like, she worked custodial and then customer service, and she got laid off a year later. Because there was just less people flying, unfortunately. I know, exactly! It's <laughs> so, like, imagine whipping that question out for small talk. Oh my god. <laughs> everyone would think you'd be, like, actually insane. <laughs> or trying to pick fights with everyone, you know? <laughs> Let's find a better question for the next one. <laughs> I, I love how I said I don't want to answer this one, and then I literally did. Oh, we got two bombs. What the frick? In first? That's kind of weird. Y'all are thinking it. Don't say it. Don't say it. I know it's a coincidence, but don't say it. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. As long as the question isn't like inappropriate or like innuendous, then go for it. Like, I'm fine with open ended stuff, but rule one in chat is no vulgar shit, so go for it. <sighs> you like wholesome chatters here. <laughs> oh my god, this part again! I was watching this clip as I was editing and I fell off in the same spot. Oh my god, you ever get like the text messages where they're like, hey, I have a question. And it's like, homie, don't. Uh, just tell me what the question is, don't open with that. You're just giving me a bad egg attack right now. Or they're like, hey, can I get a favor? It's like, just ask me what you want. Like, don't bait me. <laughs> can I just say, rate it? You do it sometimes too. <laughs> You'd be like, hey, can I ask you something? And I'm like, ready, stop. Just tell me what you want. <laughs> Not to put you on blast, but my mouth. <laughs> How many 5th graders do you think I can take in a fight? Um, okay, I am 5'2". I'm pretty hefty, I'm pretty beefy, right? I'm pretty swole. Like, if you look at my arms, look look at this shit, I can flex my right arm. Anyway, how many 5th graders can I take? 5th graders nowadays are my size. Probably taller. So, let's see. I think maybe two. Cause like, if they're all coming at me at once, I think I can handle two. Like, you just bob them in the face, and then you're good. Easy. But more than that, if they start dogpiling, literally, I, I would die. I would get trampled. So I, I think two or three is reasonable. But thank you for the question, Patch. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. We have a good lead. I would pay to see this happen. <laughs> Could that be monetizable? Just, uh, I mean... 
influencer boxing is getting kind of big right now, you know? Look at that, we got a first, you guys. I didn't even run a prediction. I got mods. If you guys have 7 TV, this mod emote is so good. It's just a, uh, a monkey banging a stick. <laughs> so funny. Ah. An infinite amount, probably. Maybe. <laughs> He's one kid as a weapon. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Wait, we got three stars? What the fuck? I thought I didn't get a first for one of them. I'll take it. I will take it. Beyblades IRL. <laughs> Exactly, exactly. Okay, let's do a few matches of online. I think we'll do online for like 15, 20 minutes because that's all I can physically handle right now. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna switch to Golden Peach because I kind of want a slightly heavy character for online. Gotta go, no problem, Patches. I appreciate you staying and chilling with us for so long. But I hope you have a good day, man. Practice for the tourney on Sunday, guys. I don't want any sweats, but make sure you guys are practicing. I expect a million people to show up to the tournament. <laughs> and, like, my main concern about the tournament is that, like, people who don't watch are gonna come in, and, like, the whole point of the tournament is for viewers. What? What? Odds? What is going on? Do I not have internet? What the frick? Nani? Or is there- okay. What? Let's try worldwide. If this doesn't work, then my Wi-Fi might be down, because like my, my laptop right here is a hard wire. So if the Wi-Fi is down, then frick. No, then we'll just do a few more rounds of computer. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I'm not. Uh, I'm not gonna have a panic attack. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. It's okay. It's fine. I'm not crying right now. I'm not actually. I I love computers. <laughs> I'll be honest. Playing with computers is fun. Oh, let's do DLC. I, we, have, we didn't do DLC tracks today. We'll do both of these and then we'll switch to Animal Crossing. Just to feel like go good. Okay, new prediction is up, guys. Go place your bets. God, that ricochet. Unfair. Oh, I'm still like learning this turn because like, I love when you're able to hold the drift on the whole turn. Fine, I'm fine. I'm not gonna get angry. I love this game.
What I do like about computers is that it's fairly easy to catch up. So, like, usually the computers don't go for skips. I mean, I know when we did play the uh, ReZero track, the one skip at the end, a few of the computers went for it, which I didn't know they did. <laughs> so I found that surprising. Okay, of course the blue is coming. Hey, okay, bomb does not cancel it out. We learned that today. <laughs> there we go. Easy. We click to a different page, and a lot of the questions on this page are like, what is your favorite blank? What is your favorite this? Or that? Okay, new predictions up. I forgot to run the last round. Sag. <laughs> but I think the best question on this page, what is my preferred way to beat people? Um, definitely, if you're gonna reach someone IRL, because, like, especially now that, like, I'm out of school or, like, out of traditional school, it's very hard to, like, meet people. Like, I wish I could go to a coffee shop and, like, talk to a random person, but it takes a lot of courage to do that. So the only time I really do that is if I see someone, like, drawing, I'm like, oh, that's cool, and then I'll talk about art with them for a little bit, and then that's the end of the conversation, you know? So, like, in order for me to, like, talk to people online, like, it takes a lot of courage for me. Because, like, with new people, you have to, like, learn, like, the ins and outs of them. Like, you don't know what's going to, like, make them upset or make them happy, right? So usually the first thing I will do whenever I'm talking to, like, a new friend is I will establish, like, boundaries immediately. So I'll be like, okay, are there anything you don't like talking about? Or is there, like, if you're upset, is there a specific way you'd like to be consoled or, like, spoken to? Like, what type of comfort do you need? And I think it's important to establish those things from the start. That way you don't end off with, like, any misunderstandings or like any hard feelings especially with a new person right because to me communication is very important with friends or like romantic relationships as well okay, on to the next one because like as i said earlier like i have such anxiety brain to where like it's hard to like I always feel like I'm upsetting people. I don't know. Okay, new prediction is up. Go glaze your bets. I ran the prediction incorrectly last round, so oopsie. <laughs> Rut row. I like this pretty a lot. This is the only one I don't really like. I don't like this S chain shape turn at the start. The other ones, the other lines in this track are all right. It did take me a, a while to like learn this turn right here. Oh my god, Mario trying to snipe me right there. That's what you get for not holding the banana behind you, Rosalina. Imagine, <laughs> she's actually been rowing. Mario's trying to snipe everyone this round. And going back to like establishing boundaries with new people, to me, asking that near like the beginning when you're talking to someone. I think it shows that you respect them, right? Because not many people will do that, from what I've noticed. Because, like, ultimately, I don't want to press any buttons, I don't want to, like, hurt anyone's feelings. Look at that, we clapped her! <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, 
best horse in the whole game, Kogan Amal. A new prediction is up. Go blaze your bets, chat. Okay, I know for me, the best place that I'm most comfortable in definitely is my bedroom. Especially since when I was younger, like, I think I should have been with my sister up until I was like 10. So I didn't really have my own space until then. And once you get your own room, oh my god, it is literally game changing. Because, like, being able to decorate and make your own space and make it how you want. Like, it, you feel like you have so much more control, right? And I switched bedrooms with my sister in the summertime, so I repainted the room. I got totally new furniture. And I kind of, like, I could decorate it a little bit more, I'm gonna be honest. But just having your own, like, it's basically like a safe space room. Like, I know I could be hanging out in the living room being social, like talking to my parents and my sister, but I'm also like, but my bedroom is super cool. <laughs> Again, tell I'm very like introverted and reclusive, so. <laughs> like, I kind of want to put stuff on the wall right here to my right, over here. I don't know, I'm still thinking about it, because like, I don't like when I hang stuff on the wall. Because like, it leaves like a shadow and the shadows scare me at night. Like, I, I wanted to, like, paint the wall and do, like, a mural, but then I also feel like that'll scare me, too. Because two years ago, I was thinking about doing a mural with, like, a bunch of faces, but then I was like, for sure that's gonna, like, give me nightmares. Like, if I wake up in the middle of the night and just see faces in the wall, like, that's gonna freak me out. <laughs> that's an easy W, guys. Look at that. Yeah, on to the next pre. Can't wait to see what new tracks are gonna be in the DLC though. Like I feel like the ones they released on launch are really easy. So I'm I'm kinda looking forward to the more difficult ones. <clears throat> we will do one more pre. Oh we just did this one. <laughs> I want, I want to do the easy free. I want to feel good about myself. Because not having online for Mario Kart kind of stressed me out. I'm going to be honest. Kind of made me psych myself out a little bit. A new prediction is up. Go blaze your bets. y'all but I'm definitely a morning person like even during school like I like waking up early and like on the weekends too like I would still wake up at the normal time because like on the days where I do sleep in and like not do something by nine o'clock I feel like I'm wasting my time but even on like days where I'm not streaming I still wake up at 7 30 because like my daily schedule is like I will post stuff in the morning right when I wake up and then I'll get ready get started working on stuff like other homework or content at like 9 or 10 a.m. depending on the day. But then I also stay up super late. <laughs> like I usually will be up to like 10 or 12, unfortunately, because like I just cannot sleep. I think it's because like my brain is just like too active and it's very hard for me to like calm down at the end of the day. And I know like oh, having no screens is your solution. Yes, that probably is it, but also like I hate just laying in bed and not doing anything. Like I, I definitely feel like I'm wasting my time then, you know what I mean? Cause at night time I'm either like reading manga, or like a webtoon, or like watching videos, cause like I don't have time to throughout the day. But I don't understand the people who can like, work second shift or work in the night time, like, 
That is crazy to me. Like going to bed when it's still bright out? Oh, dude, I would hate that. Hey, look at that. Easy W. I didn't do it pretty good. Oh no, Sag. We'll do it next time. We'll do it next time. Dude, I cannot wait till I have mods. Okay, I have one mod, but they're always on mobile, Sag, so they can't do predictions. But I can't wait till I'm at a point where like I can boss people around. <laughs> I think that'll be so fun. Like just be like mods, and then you clap your hands. Do this for me. Like, I've said it before, but anyone who is a mod, I do pay for their subscription. Because I know watching Twitch with ads sucks, and if you're gonna be, like, volunteering your time for me, and, like, help moderate my chat, I'm definitely gonna pay for your gifted sub. That way you don't see ads. That, that's just- that's just my way of saying it. Cause, like, I wish- like, anybody who helps with content, right now everything I do on my own, like, I'm just like really concerned, like I want to make sure people are compensated accordingly and properly. I also don't want to like exploit people for labor, like I want to make sure they're paid good, you know what I mean? Cause like, I'm, I'm indifferent about like Fiverr, cause like yes it's cool that people are offering their own rates, but also like, the people charging like $10 for a full ass illustration, like honey, be charging more. This is my opinions. Look at that, an easy dub. Believers would have been eating good that round. Dude, I am so excited. That I got the seven TV emotes on screen. I was j cause like it took me a while to like find an overlay that worked, but I I was combing through Reddit threads <laughs> to find one, and I'm so glad. Cause like just look at this. Like you can see all of the third party emotes now on screen, and I love it. I mean, Twitch, like, emo culture has- it's so ingrained in me now, to where I will colloquially say, like, Poggers or Poggo or Drake in normal conversation with my friends, and then- and even when we're texting, too, I will text in, in like, the group chat, like, Drake or Poggo or LOL. <laughs> and it's cool, because, like, it's rubbing- that habit is rubbing off onto my other friends in the group chat, too, and it's hilarious. Mainly cutely. <laughs> And, like, she's at the point where she will say, like, lol audibly, too, and, like, when we're in a voice call, too. It is the funniest shit. And it's all my fault. <laughs> is Lucia coming? Why- why did I throw the banana? I should've held it. We're ready into lap three. We got a solid first place. Can for sure hold. We have a item- er, <laughs> we have a banana to protect us. I ruined that drift there. It did not would not have mattered anyway, literally. There we go. Another W. Dude, if I could play computers every stream, I would be so happy. Like I would feel so good about myself. 
What if I do that? People are gonna rag on me for not doing online. Because online is not real Mario Kart. Apparently. We're at the point where my knee's starting to hurt. Ah, it's fine, it's fine. I used to think I was not a competitive person. Unless I'm playing games with another person. Like, if I'm playing by myself, I'm pretty chill. Like, I know I do ham it up a bit for stream, but <laughs> if I'm playing offline with someone... Okay, I don't trash talk too hard, <laughs> but I love pointing out when I win a game, you know what I mean? Because <laughs> I was um, playing with Emmy Beef last week, and <laughs> anytime I beat her, I was, like, shit-talking so much. Like, playfully. I wasn't, like, actually being me, but just playfully. And I was like, surprisingly, <laughs> I get like into a game if I'm facing someone. Oh my god, hi Emmy, I was not talking about you. <laughs> hi, welcome to stream, hope you're doing well today. Oh, this is awkward. <laughs> um, anyway. Oh no. <laughs> I was talking about being like competitive. No. But like, my sister, surprisingly. If we're playing a game and she's winning, she will like rub it in my face. But anytime we're playing a game and she's losing, she gets like all pouty and shit. So, like me and my sister were both really in introverted, really quiet. But I think it's a family too. We're all like really competitive with each other. Because when I was younger, when we bought the Wii Fit, oh no, come on, come on. Like <laughs> we would each try and beat each other's like high scores. So like, oh I didn't realize it was the last lap. Anyway. So my mom, when my, my sister and I would be at school, my mom would intentionally play Wii Fit, like the mini games, just to get to the top of the leaderboard. So when me and my sister would come home from school, um, we would see that our mom like beat our top scores. And it was like the pettiest shit. So we would just go like back and forth every day, <clears throat> trying to beat each other's top score in the freaking Wii Fit. Good times, good times. Um... I'll just go ahead and switch gears to Animal Crossing. Now look at that. Three Star Gold Trophy. Let's go. I mean, that was granted the easiest pre in the whole game. So, not too impressive, but you know. Uh, it sucks that we weren't able to do online today. I still don't know why it's not connecting. Maybe I just don't have Wi-Fi. I don't know. Okay. So, we can go ahead and switch gears to Mario Kart. So, I'm going to go ahead and... Switch out the cartridges, so the chat amongst yourselves, guys. <laughs> oh, dude, it hurts to stand up. My knee. Fine, I'm just. Probably it. <clears throat> I'm gonna become a boomer. Okay. I tried exercising for the first time in like months on Monday evening, I think. And I just did like 20 minutes of an exercise game. I think it's the Ring Fit. And I was dead. I was literally dead. Because like the way the Ring Fit is set up, you do like jogging and then like aerobic type exercises. And I was like DED dead after like 20 minutes. Okay, let's go ahead, change your category. I spelled animal wrong, but that's fine. Should we keep the title the same? I don't know. Oh, I was so excited. Because, okay, Kitty Lee, Katie, or Kitty Lee was ragging on me, saying my freaking Elafula's videos were trash and bad. And I was worried because the specific channel I get them from, they had to private a lot of their videos because I assume they got like copyrighted or like 
they had to censor because I think they censor like kids in their videos but anyway and I was sad because like the, the channel didn't have any more public videos but I logged in last night and literally they unprivated like a hundred videos so guys we have like a months and months of unusual memes to react to I'm so happy okay anyway back to Kitty Lee she was like I was like hey if you are gonna shit on the video comps that I find you need to find me a better channel and she's like bet so she sent me <laughs> she sent me the dumbest shit she sent me like this video game meme compilation channel and i'm like honey i don't even play half these fucking games i'm a nintendo head i'm not gonna get these freaking call of duty memes anyway if you haven't already we do have you laughy lose um that just got linked in chat i'll link it again but find videos you'll think that'll make me laugh right now we have eight submissions which is really good i'm really impressed that we got eight shout out chatters Anyway, let's go ahead and get started. <clears throat> Hello there, everyone. Right now in Timbaland, it is 12.34 p.m. on Wednesday, April 20th, 2022. Oh, by the way, if you want a rug or some new wallpaper to spruce up your place, Sahara is visiting. She sells lots of unique designs you won't find anywhere else. I can't wait to find out what she brought today. And with that, I'll get back to work supporting you in your enjoyment of our island. Why, why are you using the banana emote? I don't- Honey, I don't get it. <laughs> oh yeah, I, I- Last night- Oh, I- Okay, last night I changed my outfit. I purchased a lot of hair. You can see my hair is cuter now. I also purchased- I purchased a lot of shit. Um, with the Duke Miles. I got, like, all the different, like, eye colors. I got different skin colors. And then I bought literally all the hairstyles. But I love this hairstyle. It's so cute. Like, do you see the way the hair bounces? I love it so much. Oh my god. And I chose this outfit for the day. We're little chefs today. Okay, let's get started on the dailies. I have yet to get any new roses. We got pink mums fairly quickly, but no new roses just yet. Okay, first thing we're gonna do... <clears throat> see if there's any new fits at the shop. Because we want to look cute. Also, I know how we upgraded the storage yesterday. It's literally full again. Because I put away all the Easter decorations. Now the storage is full. So we gotta wait till tomorrow. To put everything back in storage. Okay, this fit is kind of cool. A little bit edgy. Or, it's not even a little bit. It's very edgy. Mm, I like it, but... I'm feeling happy today. I don't- I don't feel sad today. <laughs> Cause like, I'm not- I'm not usually too femme. I don't like wearing skirts or dresses IRL, but I, I like dressing up my characters like really femme and cute. Okay, this looks fucking stupid. <laughs> the skirt underneath. The chef outfit. <gasps> I need this right now. <laughs> This was, like, I think my second favorite outfit from the game. Okay, we need to buy that right now. Please tell me they have the slippers, too. Oh, they, do not, they don't have the slippers. Mm. That's fine. Once they have the slippers, we'll buy it. We're gonna, we're gonna wear this right now. I was waiting for this Hakama to come in the RNG. I love it so much. Because when we were little, anybody who doesn't know, I'm half Japanese. Like, we're not super traditional, because I'm... I'm fourth generation. <laughs> so, so my great-grandma immigrated to Hawaii. But... <clears throat> up until we were probably like 12, we would take pictures, because like, we had kimonos. So we would take pictures, because down the street they have these um, flowering plum trees, not cherry trees. The flowering plum trees and like we would oh, we're so cute we would wear the kimonos and we would wear them to school for girls day <gasps> thank you for the ten dollar tip fussy is that you emmy is that you but thank you i appreciate the ten dollars <laughs> uh, <laughs> that better be you emmy <laughs> but thank you i appreciate it <laughs> honey <laughs> 
Okay, I know I say I hate that joke, but it makes me lol every time, so you can keep doing it. I don't care. Okay, I think we got more pink hyacinths, and then... No good windflowers, Sag. Oh, we don't have to water today! Let's go! We love the days where it rains. <laughs> I need to figure out how to get, like, stream the donation al alerts on screen. Why did I dig that one up? I, I don't know what I'm doing. I got too distracted. <laughs> because since the donations are through stream elements, um... Because my normal alerts are through stream labs. Because for some reason, I cannot figure out freaking stream elements alerts. Like for the death of me, I cannot do it. I've tried. For some reason, it doesn't. It the browser source does not work, and it's frustrating. But I will figure it out one day. <clears throat> because like for alerts, I would like to have sounds and images, but then I I feel like they're too distracting, and I know little shits in chat are going to like spam alerts. Yes, Emmy, help me, please. Can we do that tomorrow? Uh, when we're playing Marker, like after, can you like help me troubleshoot, please? Or how about how about I teach you how to do emotes, and then you teach me how to do alerts? Deal? <laughs> okay, cool. Got a boss. Oh, um, anyway, cause like I like alerts, like it's fun and cool. Yeah, like the dragon alerts can be funny memes, but like I feel like I'm gonna go on like this really like important like rant about something like super important or like. I'm gonna be like yelling at chat or some shit, and then they're gonna be like ha poop 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 bp pee, pee, or like like some shit like that. <laughs> Cause like I think TTS is like super funny, but okay. I know we don't have any mean chatters just yet. We don't have any trolls, so I know people will be nice about it. But then I don't know. I don't know. I know exactly. I, I'm so concerned. Like I'm gonna like, cause like, okay. <laughs> the whole premise of today's stream is I have my question book, right? Cause like I want, I want to farm clips. Cause like a lot of my TikTok clips is usually just me talking about shit. <laughs> so like I'm intentionally like phrasing things in a way that is good for a clip, which okay is not a good way to do your content. IMO, but. Because, like, I feel like a lot of my streams, like, it's nice to, like, have that interaction with chat during live. But also, like, I have to think about cross-posting in terms of, like, editing stuff down for, like, TikTok and stuff. Um. That's why, like, the way I format my overlay, nothing overlaps each other. The only thing that might overlap the game a little bit is the stream stickers. But, for the most part, it only, like, overlaps the tiniest bit, if even. So, it's manageable, like, I can easily edit it out. But I know you were saying, Emmy, that the way your stream setup is, um, like, the alerts will cover your gameplay as you're actually playing the game. That, to me, is insane. That would drive me crazy. If, like, you're, like, actually trying to sweat in a game, and then some homie, like, use a GIF alert, and then just ruins the game for you. <laughs> you're, yeah, you are chaotic sometimes. <laughs> you say you're chill, but you're actually a little bit crazy. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. Love it out. Help you. I'm joking. <clears throat> Dude. You know when you get emails and you click unsubscribe and it says, oh, it may take two weeks for the emails to start filtering. But it's like, homie, it's been two months and I'm still getting your freaking like spam emails. Like, literally, just stop. Because my friends, they had me set up a D&D &D account. Because I was gonna play D&D &D with them, and then, okay, I was being a bad friend and I bailed because the whole concept of D&D &D seems super overwhelming to me. Because, <clears throat> I think I'm creative, I think I'm a little bit funny, but also, like, I'm not good with, um like improv I guess like I'm also like super not imaginative like even when I was little I didn't like I didn't like imagine a lot like I just didn't have that type of brain so I was like hey guys I actually need to like cancel D&D &D or like remove me from the the the, the guild 
Is that what you would call it? I don't know. I don't play D&D, so I don't freaking know. But, so I was like, hey, I'm actually, I don't feel comfortable doing it, because, like, I feel like I'd be a total pleb and be bad at it. They were like, no, it's fine, it's fine. I'm like, actually, I feel worse, so, like, just don't, just, just remove me from, <laughs> remove me from this D&D group chat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, w I would- I think- okay, it's also, like, I've never been to a D&D &D night, so, like, I've never, like, seen it in action, so I don't- I kind of know what to expect, because I've seen, like, videos of people playing D&D, &D, but I've never been in, like, the room playing it. And, like, granted, the videos I did watch were, like, professional, like, D&D &D masters? Is that what they're called? I don't know. The the people who are like actually good at DD, like not like hobbyists. Okay, I'm not saying my friends are bad at DD, but I don't know, because they're not pros. I don't know. <laughs> and like the whole like concept of DD, like I was never too into like the fantasy genre because I have such like a critical brain. Where, like, if it's not real, then I don't like it. Like, I like fairy tales and fantasy in that capacity, but I don't like dragons and shit. To me, I'm just like, that's not real. I, I cannot immerse myself in this story. <laughs> like, I think my favorite movies have to be, like, princess stuff or, like, castle. I like that genre. But whenever there's a dragon, I'm like, ugh. Like, Aragon. Like... Come on. I was like, I could not get into it. Talking about fantasy, I'm not a big Harry Potter fan. I know, shocking. Can I get some <laughs> capital E colons in chat? Like, shocking. Anytime I tell somebody I'm not into Harry Potter, they're like, what? They're like, really? I'm like, yeah. It's just magic. I, I, I cannot get high magic. Because critical brain, I'm like, magic isn't real, therefore I cannot relate to the characters. I don't know. What house am I? I'm probably like the lamest house, like the plebs, the like Hufflepuff or some shit. <laughs> what are we doing? Oh, we gotta check the turnips. Oh shit! Oh, okay, 212. Then we're up 100%, guys. Okay, we gotta sell our turnips today because I think I sold them for 110. And we are. Wait. <laughs> I think I have an emote for stocks. I think it's stonks. Yeah! <laughs> it's on the up and up, baby! <laughs> Mia Hufflepuff. <laughs> Lumbo. <laughs> I remember seeing, like, the trailer for the new Harry Potter game that's coming out, and, like, the game looks cool, but also, like, magic. I'm like, ugh. Seems kind of mid. Okay, we're gonna be rich, guys. I think we should be able to pay off our debt now. So hopefully by tomorrow we can get more storage. Oh, Emmy, are you gonna be in the tournament on Sunday? If not, it's okay. <laughs> if so, that's cool. Because, okay. A little leak. A little leak about the tournament. I haven't said this publicly yet. But... A few of my friends know it because... Meg Esports is a gag. It's a joke. It's a goof and gag, right? But since the joke is that it's a fake esports org, I was gonna get some sponsors. So, me deadass committing to a joke, committing to a bit. I would show the PowerPoint on screen, but I, I, will, I think I'll show that PowerPoint on Sunday as part of like an opening gag. Um, but basically, I made a whole ass PowerPoint around the premise of Megan Esports. And the joke was that I I would beg my friends to sponsor the stream <laughs> because there is gonna be a prize. So like I need money to buy the prize. I can afford the prize. It's okay. I, I've already purchased it. Um, but the premise would be I would beg my friends to sponsor the stream, and <laughs> I thought the joke was really funny. But I thought about it and I was like, you know. I actually don't want to, like, beg my friends for money. Even as for a joke, I was like, eh, I, I'm not liking this joke as much anymore. So I bailed. I bailed. But. I, I still have that PowerPoint, though. Like, I want to whip out that PowerPoint for a good gag, you know? 
I don't know, maybe. Oh, I already did it. I was like, why is that button not working? But Meg Esports will become a real org one day. Okay, we finished off paying our loan. Let's go. Pokemon, let's go. Well, hello there, Megan. I must thank you for the diligent repayment of your home loan. I must ask, were your payments by any chance motivated by a desire for expansion? Because, if so, I have good news. I would be more than happy to extend your credit for further construction. Can you please come see me if you'd like to discuss the details more? Of course, I want more storage, sir. Oh, wait. It's already expanded, isn't it? Fuck. So you have to wait till we- Oh wait, we're gonna take it alone today. That way it's gonna span overnight. Okay, we, we, we're getting more space tomorrow. Okay, that was it. I got confused. It's fine. It's okay. I want to expand. Yes. Manifest destiny. I want to expand. <clears throat> we're gonna add a room up top. Oh my fucking god, a million dollars? Jesus Christ. Let's do it. That's gonna take a bit. It's probably gonna take like a week. Unless we can get CJ to come back? Maybe we can do it in a day, guys. <laughs> a million in a day? That'd be insane. I mean, I guess the fastest way to make money would just be like making crops and shit. Which is totally doable. We could invest more money into crops and farming. Because I want- what I wanted to do, ultimately, was to make all of my trees fruit trees. But what- what I keep doing is I keep chopping the trees every day. So I forget which trees are fruit trees. But it's fine. It's okay. Oh, I need to buy a new slingshot. Because it broke last night. I'm so surprised that the slingshots even break. <clears throat> okay. That's sick. Look at that. Oh my god, only 2k. We need that. Okay, we don't need anything else. Everything else is kind of mid. Okay, we definitely need to buy a slingshot, and then we can probably buy an axe as well. Because we're gonna get started on chopping. No problem, I appreciate coming in and chilling with me for a little bit, Emmy. But have fun. It's always nice talking to you. Hope you have a good one. Okay. Oh, I got lost. <laughs> I was like, where's the freaking slingshot? But this one looks stupid. This one, it looks like dingy ass plastic, this purple one. Like, it looks like it's gonna break after one single use. <laughs> okay. They're ready for chopping. Four axes just in case, because it seems like we go through at least three. I wonder if it rains, do less wasps? Okay, wasps is really difficult for me to say. And I've noticed that I have a lisp. It's not as, like, bad as it could be, but I I've been noticing it. Because, like, I'll watch back clips and I'll be like, oh no. I have a leg. It's, it's popping out again. <laughs> okay. I think... Oh no. Yes, wasps do still spawn. <laughs> We're doing the trick. We're doing the trick. Take a step back. Wait. Ah! 
I, I didn't retrieve the net fast enough. I didn't realize there was like a timeout for the, 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 the quick tool. Okay, another thing I noticed is I have a stutter. Annoying. I mean, it, it's fine. It's whatever, but... It wasn't cool. Cause like, you know when you watch back VODs? They try and like find clips or a good moment? You notice a lot of things you don't usually do. Like, I noticed I, I mumble. I have a stutter sometimes. No! I noticed I have a lisp. And then I also noticed I have like eyebrow ticks. And like, it's fine. I, I try not to talk about it often because I feel like if I talk about it often enough, people are gonna make fun of me. So if you do that, you are being mean and a bully. And I think a lot of the time, because since I don't like socialize a lot, like IRL, like a lot of my socialization is um, online, I don't talk a lot. I very much text the 10 times more than I do to, than I do talk. So then I think streaming kind of forces me to talk more and get used to, get, just get used to talking, right? And I'm not used to talking this much, like for hours and hours on end or like minutes on end. I don't stream very long. <laughs> Lamau. I definitely feel like streaming has improved my speaking skills, though. Like, I think I- like- Oh, the axe already broke. Let's go. At some point, I definitely want to play more story-driven games. Because I can't necessarily do character voices, but I just want to get used to, like, talking more. Like, audibly. Like, I wanted- who I wanted to play Eastward on stream at some point. Because I beat the story. <laughs> when I beat the story, the game, like, in the final cutscene, the game actually crashed. And I didn't know, and I thought the actual cutscene was supposed to, like, exit out of the game. Sag. So I had to beat the final boss again, and I got, then I got the real cutscene. I was like, oh, okay, this is not intentional. <laughs> like, I would like to do Eastward on stream. Just so, like, I could talk more. But I, I don't do voices, because I think voices are kind of cringe unless you're good at it, you know? Because, like, I think I'm good with, like, enunciating tone and stuff, but I'm not good with characters, in my opinion. Like, I don't like, I don't like doing voices. I think that's kind of cringe. Oh, I said this last week, but, like, I would love... To be a volunteer at a library who reads like storybooks to kids. I think that would be so fun. When our libraries open up, I definitely need to look into that. Because I think that that would generally be so fun. Like a really good way to spend your time, you know? Hey guys, hey guys, you know what time it is? Another hour to stream, and it's time to fulfill my contractual obligation. It is ad time, baby. So, you can avoid the ad by subscribing for just four ninety nine, just five dollars a month, the cost of a single coffee. Skip your coffee tomorrow, you can get ad free viewing all month, and you get super cool sub emotes. Ain't that pretty Pago? Ain't that cool? Or if you have an Amazon Prime account, you can link it to your Twitch account and get a free Amazon Prime sub every month. I know my Prime sub is for Scootish, but I might give my Prime next to Cutely or Rainy Dance. I don't know. What's cool about the Primes? They can like move it around between streamers. Because it's not necessarily like a guaranteed resub. But yeah. We will see some of you guys in a few. One day what's gonna happen is, cause I, I, I think it's funny to go to the cam center screen or full cam screen for ads. One day I'm gonna forget to switch back. <laughs> but I have yet to do that. Cause I am a pro streamer guys. <laughs> pro copium. <laughs> I mean, at least I try. Because, 
like, for streaming, I think I have most everything figured out. Like, I have my vibe figured out. I have, like, my games figured out. I think my commentary has, like, improved over the past few months. Like, I think for me, the most important thing about streaming is that it has to be fun. You know? Because... I keep saying this, but a lot of people start streaming for the wrong reasons. Like, I know I started because, like, I wanted something to pass the time and also have, like, an outlet. And I knew that broadcasting would definitely, like, help increase my social skills and also, like, my tech skills. Which it has done over the past couple months. Because, <clears throat> like, I will see, like, posts about people complaining, like, ooh, my viewership is down, or ooh, my viewer, or, like, my subs are down, or, like... My regulars aren't coming back and it's like that's just part of it like yes like numbers matter but also you should do it because it's fun right because if you lose that like spark or like the creative aspect of streaming then it's hard to find it again once you become too focused on like numbers or money and for the most part a lot of small streamers don't make they make very little to no money Like, a lot of people do it because they want to do it, or it seems fun, or like it's a cool hobby. And it is. Like, yes, I have invested, like, a decent amount of money into, like, tech and equipment. But I think it's totally worth Like, yes, streaming is not for everyone. Because it can be, like, kind of emotionally taxing at times. But it's still, like, super fun. Like, I'm, I always, I'm always excited to stream. Even on days where, like, I'm kind of, like, not feeling it, or kind of, like, feeling iffy. Like, streaming definitely does brighten my mood. Because, like, just thinking there are people who come into chat and, like, who want to talk to me, or, like, who like the stream content, or like the clips, makes me so happy. Yes, there are days when there's less people in chat, or, like, people who don't talk, and that's fine. Because even if, like, a small amount of people show up to the live, there are still people who, like, watch the VOD, or watch the YouTube, or, like, like the clips. There's always something for everyone, you know? So if you're a streamer and you aren't cross-posting, literally, what are you doing? You need to be doing it right now. <laughs> oh no, can we do it? Can we do it? Can you run? Nope! That was not it. I think, okay, I think part of it has to be the timing and, like, the placement in which the swarm is. Because as you can see, it kind of loops around your head. Anytime I press the button, the bee is, like, here. So maybe I have to, like, press it when the bee is further away. I don't know. I'll figure it out one day. Keep in mind, I have mastered that trick one or two times. So I, I kind of know what I'm doing. Also changed the mouth on my character. It's kind of like making like, like just like a subtle like smug little grin. I'm usually not too bit too big on customer. Or, I'm usually not too big on character customization, but Animal Crossing, like I love changing my outfit every day. Like just going to the closet or like going to the store and buying clothes. Oh my god. Back when I used to work, I used to. Every check, I used to um, go out and go to the mall and buy clothes. I didn't spend an enormous amount. I'd spend like max maybe a hundred. So like I would spend my spending money on clothes. <laughs> Sadly, most of them don't fit anymore. <laughs> but you know, we're gonna start exercising again. Everything is gonna fit. Okay, mind you, I do like a tight fit. I like clothes that are snug. So like the clothes, I can wear them. But they are going to be a little bit too tight. Oh, let's go, we got it.
Well, the rain music has to be my favorite music in the game. Nope. I thought I had it. That's not the right timing. Sag. Ah, shit. Here we go again. <laughs> oh, we need the axe, don't we? I need to... Check something real quick. Like, I know, like, switch frame rate, frame rate is not fully there, right? Okay, the frame rate is not that bad. I, I always, I always get super anxious with like my capture cards because, like, I have an Elgato, right? Elgato is fine; it's decent, but there are definitely better capture cards. And the only reason why I got an Elgato is because that's what everyone tells you to buy. Um, because like I have another capture card for my camera because it's a capture card specifically for cameras but the resolution wasn't as high as I wanted it to be so then I, I just bought another Elgato capture card but because of that like using two Elgatos is definitely a lot for my processor and I feel like the frame rate for some of the gameplay does like kind of struggle at times like IE because, like, my stream, I think, is at 30 frames per second. So I think the way the capture card is for the gameplay, it probably, like, captures at, like, 28. Or, like, it's it seems like it's slightly lower than 30. Okay, it's looking better now. Okay, for, for like, a five, for, like, a minute, it was looking like it was lagging a little bit. And I was like, um, like... Let's stop the stream. We need to look at this. Because, like, I could refresh the capture card during the live, but then we don't know if she's gonna reconnect. Because, <laughs> like, as of recent... Okay, ever since, like, I upgraded to Windows 11, it's been pretty good. Like, um, processor has not been struggling as much. But also... It just seems like there's a lot more bugs with Twitch Studio. Like, for example, like I said yesterday- Oh, here we go again. Oh! Oh my god! I took too long. Oh my god, I did it! Holy shit! Dude, I'm getting so good at this shit. Anyway. As I was saying, after I just masterfully caught those bees. <laughs> um. <laughs> like, there was an issue of- the stream VOD capturing game audio even when I muted it. Um, there's nothing I can really do to work around that. That's just a glitch. So, that's why, like, one of the VODs from a You Laugh You Lose has, um, freaking Animal Crossing music at full blast playing. Oopsie, that was an, uh, that was an oopsie on Megan's part. Satch. Um, because I didn't know that that glitch happened. But anyway, I, I figured out how to work around it. I just have to, like, exit out the game. So, he... I just realized, since we got a donation earlier, we're gonna break out the sub journal today. <laughs> I am- <laughs> I am a little concerned though, because Emmy did donate her name as Bussy. <laughs> so... <laughs> we can't be writing that out. No, no. We don't want the Twitter frogs to hate me. <laughs> I cannot wait until the next, like, writing out followers name stream. I love using the pens. It is so fun to do calligraphy. Like, if anyone is, like, debating it, just do it. It's, it's generally so relaxing and fun to do. Like, it's not, like, real calligraphy because it's just a brush pen, so it's not, like, whipping out, like, an ink 
and quill, right? But it, it's super fun, and like, it's really satisfying to see something being done with their own hands, you know? Like, I, I generally, I want to get back into art, like, I need to, but also, anxiety. I don't know, one day I'll get over it. I'll, I'll, cause like, with art, you just have to do it sometimes. Like, if you're in an art block, sometimes you just have to make stuff. Because I know for me, a lot of the times whenever I'm like starting a project, I, I get super discouraged like seeing the first steps of a, of a drawing. I'm like, this doesn't look good. Cause like, it's just the basics. You're just drawing like the basic shapes or shades, right? And from that, I get very discouraged. And I also get annoyed when like the render doesn't look like my reference picture. I like, I just get mad at myself. So I, I just need to get over that like mental hurdle, which I will at some point cause I want to get back into like ink, ink portraits. I think that would be really fun. So I usually don't work too much with color because color is very overwhelming to find like a good color palette. But I think like black and white work is so like impactful if like your line work is really good. Like even just line work adds like so much depth to your piece. I think that's why like fringe, I think that's why I like like manga art a lot. Because just the use of like foreshortening and like the the weight of the ink lines, like the, the width of the lines, not weight, rather. Like it adds so much weight and depth to the piece for like each image, like subtly. I want to get into like screen tones too. Okay, get under the B. We do it. Oh my god, we did it again twice in a row? Dude, I'm a pro gamer. As I was saying, <laughs> I want to get into screen toning too. Because I think it's cool. Like, I'm pretty good with this active blade. Like, I used to do paper cuts for fun. So, like, I'm pretty, like, precise with paper cuts. So, I think screen toning would be fun to try. Dude, we're breezing through this chopping wood part. What I want to do for the birthday stream. Because, like, I want to have some type of reward. Because, like, I'm not going to be too hopeful. But usually on those type of, like, streams or events, you'll have more people and potentially more donors. Like, I'm trying to think of, like, what I want to do for people who do choose to, like, sub, gift, or donate on my birthday stream. But, like, I think a funny gag would be... <laughs> Every time someone donates, I eat a cupcake, and I would have, like, like big-ass cupcakes as a joke, but then on the side off-screen, I would have, like, the mini ones. <laughs> but, oh my god, imagine me eating, like, a dozen of the mini cupcakes. I would probably yak, like, actually. Because, like, even, like... I Okay, when I was little, I used to, like, scorp down food and be fine. But now I'm like, if I eat too much, I'm like, I am not feeling it, you know? Because there's this one local cupcake shop. Oh my god, it is so good. Their cupcakes are, like, $3 each, but they are so good. They have- they use, like, buttercream frosting for all of their cupcakes. Amazing. Literally amazing. I got it, like, two weeks ago, and they have this peaches and cream flavored cupcake, and it was, like, vanilla. And they had, like, peaches baked in to the cupcake. And it had, like, this whipped, like, cream frosting that was peach flavored. Oh my god, it's literally so delicious. I would buy it all the time if I could, and... <laughs> but I should not. <laughs> um, I want to see if I can get some for Sunday. Because I think that specific flavor, because they have daily different flavors. I don't think they sell those on Sunday. 
I think they're closed on Sunday, actually, Sag. But, but you can probably like order like a special order for like catering or something. But also, why would you cater just like a dozen cupcakes? Um, uh, that seems kind of cringe. But also, imagine catering like five dozen. How expensive that would be. Like, okay. I understand why, like, bakers charge a lot of money for, like, a custom cake or, like, a custom cake cupcake order. But also, I would never drop that much money on cake. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. I would probably- okay, but, but like, if you can spend, like, big dollar to, like, buy, like, really nice cupcakes. Because usually, like, the custom ones, like, they taste good. Hmm. I don't know. I'm on the fence. I'm on the fence. Okay, I have no need to buy custom cakes because I'm not getting married. Like, literally never. <laughs> Forever alone, Sag. Um. No, like, we're not having any parties. Because we don't have any friends, Sag. <laughs> no bitches, no friends. Okay, if I am gonna have like a wedding or something, I would probably spend the most money on food. Like, to me, food is gonna be the most important part of an event. BH. Because I feel like that's like the one thing that people remember is like decorations, food, and like the people who were there. So if your food is mid, then it's just game over. Right? Another axe. See, it's a good thing I grabbed four, because we broke three already, I think. Oh no, we only broke two. But still, we broke a lot. I know you can get gold tools, but I forgot how you get them. I know I can look it up, but that's cheating. Easy a one tap, let's go. my dad and he was like you know why don't you just because like for twitch there's a function to like rebroadcast a previous live stream he was like why don't you do it on these when you're offline and i was like hey dad you realize the whole point of a live stream is to be there for the live so because the way that rebroadcasting works is i think people still get pinged like they still get a notification that you're live but it's technically a rebroadcast so if you're doing rebroadcasts all the time people are going to be less inclined to show up to the live because it's probably just going to be rebroadcast. Or they're just not going to want to do it because if they see your live all the time, then it's not as special, right? Like, I definitely saw the biggest change in, like, one, my commentary style and, like, people coming back to stream more often when I started streaming only three days a week. A week, sorry. Because <laughs> when I was- when I had, like, a lot of free time, <laughs> When I first started streaming back in August, I would stream five days a week, which, looking back, was not a good idea. That was kind of a dumb decision. Because 
since you're streaming more days, you have like less things to talk about. Because you're spending too much time like streaming instead of going out and do stuff, you know? You're up 6k, let's go. Okay, let's see what our hot items of the day are. Hope it's something good. Okay, tiki torch and swinging bench. Let's see what we need. I think we need wood and probably soft wood, yeah? Okay, we need tree bench and wood. Wood and softwood. So, branch, wood, soft. Branch, wood, soft. Softwood, branch. Our storage is still full. Rip. We can't put anything in the house just yet. See what we got in storage. Well, we have like literally no softwood. <laughs> I think because yesterday's hot item was the wooden block table, so I think we used all of our softwood yesterday. Rip. Anyway, it's fine, it's fine. Just a okay. There's a single softwood here. Let's go. Easy. The reason why I'm placing the tools, rather than, than just dropping them, is that since I can actually see what the item is, I don't have to scramble around looking for a random tool. If it's, cause like, see if I drop tools here, it's just a toolbox, right? If I place it, then I can see that, oh, it's a fishing rod, or a net. A five head move, am I right? I think we're gonna craft as many <laughs> swinging benches as we can. And then with the remaining wood, we can use for the tiki torches. Because I assume the swinging bench will sell for way more than a tiki torch.
also thinking about if I want to change up my overlay. Because, like, I like the look of the plants. I think it's pretty chill. Like, I like that aesthetic, personally. Because, like, a little leak. A little leak. I can actually show it right now. I have this blue. Which I think is cool. But I don't know if it's, like... I feel like a lot of people use blue. Not a, a lot of people use green. So I'm, I'm still like thinking about the blue. I don't know if I feel it just yet. I don't know. Thoughts? <laughs> because like all the images I will use are royalty free. Because I don't want any copyright to happen. And I don't think it's fair for people's like work to be yonked and stolen. You know? So I typically will use copyright free. The only thing that wasn't copyright free that I have used was the Mario Kart image for like the actual like Mario Kart graphic of Mario that I used for the um, tournament promo. Everything else is royalty free. Because <laughs> I think that's important to like respect copyright and also respect like artist work. Because photographers are still artists. I can switch up the overlay to like anything I want because it's not like covering the screen or like the gameplay of the camera. So like I don't want the colors to be too bright because I want it to be like easy on the eyes. That's why I like the look of the the plants and the brown. Like it's not too bright. Like I I like I like the synthwave aesthetic. Like it's cool, but I don't want to be staring at like bright green or bright blue or like hot magenta all the time. You know. So, like, I think the vibe for me is, like, chill, calm, you know? Because, like, when I was initially thinking of concept overlays for stream, I was like, ooh, I think, like, something cute, like, kawaii, like, a pastel pink would be cute. But, like, I think that doesn't match my, like, aesthetic or brandy. Because I feel, I feel like a lot of girls use that aesthetic and it's like, I'm different, you know? <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. There's like a lot of subtle nuances with the de with designs that people don't realize. I mean, yes, I'm in graphic design school, so I kind of like understand a little mo more than a normal person would. But there's always like an intent and reason behind every single design decision, whether you see like advertising, print design, or like in games or media. There's always a reason why they choose a certain color palette, a certain shape. We've crafted all the hot items that we are able to. Let's get the salad. Man, it's gonna take a long time to pay off that million debt. I feel like Nook is exploiting us, guys. I feel like he has malintent. <laughs> Ooh, 62k, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. <laughs> Dude, I didn't watch iDubs when, like, he was like really popular in like OG YouTube. Like I only started watching him maybe two years ago, so I don't like I don't know all the old bits and jokes, but I, I've always seen like his sound bits like and memes everywhere. And I didn't realize it was items until like 
two years ago, right? I was like, oh my god, it's that guy. <laughs> I was like, I started watching YouTube like after the Filthy Frank era. Like after the super edgy era. Oop, I did not mean to click that. I wanted to go to the bank. Okay, so we've chopped wood, we sold our hot items, I think we're gonna do one lap around the island to make sure we get all of the, um, like, fish and shells for the day, and then we can go ahead and do the Laffy Loose. Let's get our rods ready. Go ahead and grab an extra one just in case. Gonna stock up while we're here. I thought it wasn't tapping. <laughs> yeah, I'm leaning like way too much on this arm. Cause like I always end stream and then I get up and I'm like, hey, there's a, okay, th there's not a bruise on my elbow, but it's just like super discolored. I'm like, um, that's concerning. But then I'm like, oh yeah, I lean on my arm too much. Cause like I have pretty decent posture, surprisingly. Like, even after years of wearing a heavy-ass backpack, my posture is still pretty good. Like, I typically don't slouch when I sit. I just, I just, like, lean. Like, on the side too much. Like, I sit up straight, but I'm also crooked. Like, I don't lean forward, I- Like, I'm just crooked. <laughs> Dude, because like when I was in school, I was the kid who like had to take basically their whole bedroom to school. Like I was always at school like over prepared. I had a million one pens, so many erasers. I remember I had two binders, I think. Because like for me, I had like the normal binder for notes, then another binder for like assignments. Like I was I was carrying way too many things in my bag. Like, this is why I don't carry a purse when I go out. Like, I feel like I'd be- I'd, I'd have, like, one of those big-ass purses. That's, like, as big as your whole body. <laughs> but, but, okay, because in my head, whenever I do go, go out, I have, like, a little pocket bag or, like, a, a backpack. Because if I'm going out with friends or something, I will always bring my backpack. Because, like, one, I need extra clothes just, just in case. I don't know, like, I'll be prepared. And then also, like... I always have like extra water and snacks just in case they get hungry. I don't know. I'm I'm a caretaker. I'm 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 like the mom friend, you know. That's me. Like I got to make sure everyone is taken care of. Oh yeah, I also have a first aid kit in my backpack too, just in case. Granted, I don't know how to do like major first aid. Like I, I know how to like wrap a bandage around somebody, but that's like all I can do. I learned CPR in eighth grade, but I totally okay. I know I kind of know how to do it, but also don't be relying on me if you're dying. <laughs> I think with emergency situations as well, you can be trained as much as you think you can. But in the moment, you don't know how you're going to react, right? 
because there's that initial shock that I think like a lot of people don't realize is like the biggest issue with emergency situations. Like, if anything happens, just immediately call like police first or like paramedics first. Because like yes, you can be fully trained, but it takes like a lot of how would you say it? Because, like, in an emergency situation, you're always going to want to, like, inherently take care of yourself first, right? And it takes, like, a lot of, like, to, of courage to, like, take care of someone else in an emergency situation. It's kind of like, people don't think about, like, the flight or flight instinct until, like, something happens, right? Because, for example, my mom, like, she knows what to do if, like, there's an emergency. But then also, like, because she works with kids, so there's obviously going to be, like, cuts and bruises, that type of thing. But, like, any time that me or my sister get hurt, like, she kind of freaks out. Like, not not extremely, but, like, she, she just gets, like, super anxious. Like, she does not like seeing blood if it's, like, near my sister or my dad's because it freaks her out. And, like, my biggest fear with, like, first aid is that, like, if I go to, like, help or intervene, I feel like I would do the wrong thing. Like, as they say, always leave it, leave it to, like, a professional unless you have to get the, the victim out of the location as soon as possible. Like, i.e., like, a burning vehicle. Like, yes, then you'd have to, like, intervene and help them get out of the vehicle. But otherwise, like, if you try to, like, help or touch the person, you could be, like, hurting them more. Like, the thought of that, like, genuinely, like, scares me. I don't know, just random old- <laughs> This is random old. Just random Animal Crossing thoughts, you know. We go hard. Oh my god, come on! Oh my god, the- Jesus Christ. I hate when the fish are spawning like this. I'm gonna scream in a video game. There we go, finally. And it's a one top or two, thank god, it was pissing me off. All of that for a freaking loach, let's go. Okay, I forgot that it's spring, that it should probably be. probably. Be going to a deserted island so we can get bamboo. I might do that off stream. I don't know. I'll think about it. Cause like just the RNG sucks. Like even on my other save file, I only got like bamboo islands like maybe four times, and I played it for a solid year and a half. So I don't know. RNG loves me or hates me in this game. Like last night, I was fishing, and see the big fish there on the right? I got three of those guys. Last night it was crazy. Oh, thank you for the follow, honey. I appreciate it. Feel free, chat, lurk, whatever makes you happy. Oh, I rearranged my tools. <laughs> that was the wrong one. We missed? Let's go, we got it a second time. We got a train going by, the whole house is shaking. <laughs> I remember one time I, uh, <laughs> I was joking with my friend because like she was freaking out that like her house was shaking because like she lives in uh, California so she was like it's an earthquake and I was like I live by a train so literally our house shakes all the time lol and she's like, no, there was like some type of like massive storm. And I was like, oh no. I was like, uh oh. When the joke doesn't land. <laughs> Cause like my my sense of comfort. Oh, I appreciate it. Thank you, hon. But thank you for coming over to Twitch. Thank you for popping into the live. I'm glad you like the TikTok. We have a lot of TikTok frogs in chat. We have a lot of zoomers. <laughs> but thank you for coming to stream. Um, if you have any preferred nicknames or pronouns, make sure to tell me. 
My nickname for people, like just by default, I call people Hun. Like, you know, sweetie Hun. We can call you Honey. Whatever makes you happy. But thank you. I appreciate the compliment. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, I said a mean joke that- Okay, it wasn't mean. It wasn't mean. <laughs> but when the joke doesn't land, you know what I mean? <laughs> oh, okay, I was saying like, cause my like comfort method, like I will either- Like either try and be funny to lighten the mood or I will like be vulnerable to like help them make them feel better. <laughs> but obviously they did not want a joke in that moment. Hun is good? Okay, we'll call you Hun. <laughs> oh, freak. Inventory's full. Cause like I used to work at a daycare. So I, like Han is just like, oh, why did I bury it? Han is like usually the like the, the endearment name I would use for the kids. Cause like I worked with like an older lady and she would call all the kids sweetie. Which is cute, but like I think sweetie's kinda cringe. I think Han is like cuter. And more endearing. I don't know. Dude, I kind of miss working at the daycare, but then I don't. Because, like, I think kids are cute for, like, an hour. Otherwise, anything longer, not fun anymore. And the B button all the time. And I want to be a pro gamer one day. <laughs> oh my god. Imagine the pro gamer Megan Arc. That would be insane. Because <laughs> so many people shit on me for being bad at Mario Kart. And like, I'm decent. I'm, I'm good at the game. The way I kind of phrase it is like the the messaging to get from my brain to like have my fingers press button there's like a little bit of lag the the wires are gonna faulty sometimes and also i have limited mobility in my hands some days so like um if you guys like shit on me for being bad at mario kart you're being ableist and a bully so get wrecked <laughs> yeah some days like my hands are numb and it's not cool we're going to the doctor next week, though, so it'll be fine. Anyway. <laughs> the doctor is gonna be like, You can't move your hands because you're depressed. And I'll be like, You right. <laughs> anyway, okay, let's, let's stop trauma dumping. Let's stop doing that. Let's go back to positive vibes. Let's go back to shitting on my friends. No, I'm a good friend, Copium. I'm a good friend. <laughs> I don't know, we talked about this earlier. But whenever I make a new friend, I always ask them like what's the best way to like kind of talk to them? I.e. like what are your boundaries? What's a good way to come for you if you're sad or like feeling off or whatever? Okay, I was gonna lead into another topic, and then I forgot what the other topic was. Five head. <laughs> oh, but like, for me, I'm definitely- I like jokes. I like goofing and gaff. Like, my favorite thing is like, playfully bantering back and forth through like, text messages. That's my favorite, like, god tier best friend, if you can do that with me. Okay, I'm not saying everyone is my best friend because that would be cringe, but <laughs> if you're able to like banter back and forth like adequately, then you're a keeper, is what I'm saying. And if you're not at that point, um, practice and get better. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I know not everyone is funny like me. Dude, Eagle Brain is going hard today. Okay, let's sell our shit and get to laughing and losing. If 
What we need is to keep the shells for crafting. There we go. Yeah, I don't think there's anything we really need to do left for the island as of right now. Because the storage is full, so I, I, can't, I literally can't put anything away. So, I think we will go ahead and save here. <laughs> I think the book gag is really funny. I think we did like five questions today. And I'm highlighting them as we answer them. That way we don't double dip. But I think the book gag is funny. And by gag, I mean joke. Get your head out of the gutter. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and switch gears to... You laugh, you freaking lose. Now, this time, I'm going to exit out of the game. That way it does not capture the game audio. Live head. Okay. Let's go ahead and get started. We're not started. Get 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 it um uh, figured out. Ooh, like I said earlier, the channel that we've been reacting to, a lot of their videos are public again. They're no longer private. So let's go. It's your boy. Okay, a lot of their older videos are like memes, like game memes. So I don't know if I will like understand them. I don't know if I will like un get up them. But yeah. Before we get started with You Laugh You Lose, we are doing a You Laugh You Lose or viewer submitted You Laugh Lose for the birthday stream this Sunday. You guys have until Friday to submit videos. So that means you have today, tomorrow, and Friday to fill it out. Right now we have eight submissions. Thank you to everybody who has, has submitted so far. But you guys have three more days. Three more days, guys. We're gonna go ahead and link that in chat. So if you haven't already, take some time, fill it out. If your video makes me laugh, I will give subs to chat. So isn't that cool? Isn't that pog o? <clears throat> anyway, let's go ahead and okay. oh wait, I, I didn't change my category. Come on. If I laugh, I end stream. The title's no change. Rules are simple. If I laugh, I end stream. I'm not allowed to pause unless I deem it extremely necessary. I'm allowed to smile, but I cannot laugh. I can smile, but not laugh, okay? Also, if you get got, if you laugh, type one in chat and tell me what made you laugh. Okay, let's get started. It's your boy soldier boy in Dubai. Look at that camel behind me though, scratching his neck. Turn up. I got the Lewis shoes dirty, goddamn. Ah! You're doing it. Oh my god, it's a boss. Dude, Yo, I hate look that at shit. this fucking bullshit. Do a flip! Ah! Yeah, I don't know why I keep seeing pause, Kate. That's literally annoying. Soccer game. I was like, that music is from the Wii Sports Soccer Dude, game. What? No, Chris, no, what the hell? No. Hey, Violet, challenge time. If you don't make the ball in the basket, your mom's gonna go to jail. Go. Uh oh. My main goal is to blow up and then act like I don't know nobody. <laughs> Oh. 
Sydney, what you making? Three, two, one, go! Game. What type of girl are you? Easy, easy clap. The hipster, the hardcore girl, the pastel goth, the swag Asian, the kawaii girl. I hate that shit. Gonna have to get the power on. You fight who? Yeah, that wasn't a laugh, that was a whimper. I did not get caught. Sister race. Maybe there's a contest for lonely children after this. It's only children, DW. A lonely child is what you're gonna be when I sell you. Dude, Arthur's hey. so fucking funny. Oh my god. Gotta go fast. Déjame agarrar chile, güey. Déjame agarrar chile. No. 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 mi chile puto. SM64. Oh shit! All right. Oh my god. This the meme. Rat. The motherfucking rat. This is motherfucking rat. I'm gonna whoop your ass. I'm gonna whoop your ass. Yeah, the joke's going too long. Get a laugh soon? Whoop your ass! Hey, thank god. Saved. Oh my god. Please, give it to me. Oh my god, the guy's actually crazy. I don't get it. Dude, that's a lot of stamps on that envelope. Like, actually. <laughs> So today I've decided to start a new viral challenge. It's called the milk and chili in your socks challenge. 
Basically what you do is you take the milk and the chili and you just pour it into your socks like so. Yeah, so anyways, this is the new viral challenge. If we could get Ellen DeGeneres, uh, Jimmy Fallon, or any celebrities desperate to stay current really uh, to do this. Um, Oh, is he gonna hit that chicken burger? Fuck. Jesus Christ. I mean, it is 420 today, guys. That 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 last bit was like too long. Like the premise was kind of good, but a bit too long. Oh my god. Oh. Okay. I'm good. Anybody get got? I feel like what was what was the one that I was gonna be? Like this one, this one, where like the joke goes on too long. Like those ones all always get me. I I don't know what the issue is. <laughs> okay. Anyway, gentle reminder. If you haven't already, we are doing a viewer submitted You Laugh You Lose on Sunday. Sunday, Sunday. You guys have two days left to submit. So if you haven't already, go click that link, fill out that Google form, and submit your favorite haha -ha YouTube videos. If you laugh, I give subs. Pretty easy. Um. Oh, you guys know what time it is, right? You guys know what time it is. <laughs> we had earlier in stream, MV gift, or not gift, donate $10. So she's going to go ahead get her name written down so i'm going to get that set up i'm gonna put on 3d world music because i personally like that music a lot so let me go ahead and get that set up i'm british there we go because i just like the loading screen music it's so freaking good there we go. Okay, so go ahead. Change your title. If you sub or gift, I'll write your name, smiley face. <laughs> I think that title's so freaking funny. I don't know. Comedy. Comedy. Okay, I'm moving my laptop. Let's hope we don't break everything. Oh. <laughs> okay, everything's fine. Everything's fine. <clears throat> everything's okay. And hey, look! Hey, look! No, no time is. Ooh. I was already on the cam screen. Lamel. What? We are into an hour three of stream, so it is time to write an ad. You can either subscribe for $4.99, just $5 a month, the cost of a single coffee. Skip the coffee tomorrow, you get ad free viewing all month long, and you get super cool emotes. And I forgot, if you link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch account, you get a free Twitch Prime sub every month. Sorry, I got distracted. There's a spider crawling down from the ceiling behind the camera, and I got a little bit scared. Anyway, we will see some of you guys in a few. Granted, you're not missing much. Um, I am going to be sending out the phone cam, so that's going to take like a minute. Because she sometimes doesn't connect properly. So let's see. It will work today. Okay, we're going to turn on Do Not Disturb mode. Because we don't want to leak anything. Non phone camera, please work. Okay, I have to log into this application to connect the phone, and sometimes she glitches out. Dude, I love the Super Mario 3D World music so much. You guys do not understand. Can we talk about? 
about how like perfect these curls are today real quick they're like literally perfect anyway <laughs> hey come on she's connecting come on baby there we go phone camera after me Okay, for some reason, it never connects the right source. There we go, fun cam! I'm gonna go get the journal. If you are new to chat, for anybody who gifts, donates, or cheers bits, you get your name written all cute and stuff at end of stream. So we're gonna go ahead and grab that sub journal. Had earlier in stream, Emmy Beef donate $10. So she's gonna be our new oiler, guys. I swear. Look, she's getting her name written twice. She had her name written last week because she kept it a sub and then she donated ten dollars. Oh my god. Imagine. So these pens today. Because my combos are all busted. I think we're gonna go in with probably the 15. I like the darker pink, personally. To write in. Dude, I hope you guys cannot hear that, but my stomach is growling right now. Awkward. See that B? It's literally perfect. Oh my god. Okay, an issue I have with writing B's and then the following letter. See how this one, the E, is really far away from the B? But look at this. I am getting better, guys. Scorpio. go, MEB. A ten dollar dodo from MEB. Over here. I'm gonna go ahead and add some accent lines. There we go. Yeah, I think that'll be it for today. Unless anybody wants to sub or gift right now, you can get your name written right now. Maybe. <laughs> um. <laughs> no, you're good. I'm goofing. I'm good. I'm joking. Unless, unless. <laughs> okay. Um. I don't know if anyone live right now, but let's see. Oh my god, Mizkip is live? Hassan is live? Okay, I was genuinely so sad because Hassan posted on Twitter that he's doing a ban appeals with Austin show later today. And it looks like they're not doing it yet, so I, I get to catch it later. I was like so <laughs> upset that I might miss that segment of stream, but it looks like we're gonna, gonna get to do it. Okay, nobody I know is live. So no raid today, Sag. Um, anyway, thank you to anybody who came into stream. Thank you to any viewers, chatters, lurkers. I appreciate everyone. Y'all are super cool. And Pogo. <laughs> I, I hate how I say Pog. Oh, not ironically now. It's so freaking cringe. Okay, I need to change my color balance on this. Because, like, I look a little bit more red than I do in my DSLR. And it's triggering me. Anyway, if you're new to stream or you've been a long-time viewer, check out my offline socials. I have a Twitter um, Instagram and TikTok. If you aren't already, go follow the TikTok. Please. I post daily clips and there are occasional, like, extra live streams on TikTok. Um, gentle reminder. We are doing- Okay, this is a lot to spam in chat. Anyway. 
We are doing the viewer submitted you laugh lose on Sunday. Make sure you have your video submitted to that Google Form link by Friday. We are going to be reviewed on Saturday. And we are doing that Mario Kart tournament on Sunday, 11 a.m. PST. So make sure you guys are practicing. I'm going to be practicing all week. You guys are going to be freaking crushed. I'm going to win that mystery prize. None of it for you guys. <laughs> um, yeah, that'll be all for today. I will see you guys tomorrow sometime, 11 a.m. PST. But tomorrow we're doing the Super Mario 3D World run where every game over I give subs. But we're doing that tomorrow, 11 a.m. PST. So, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Bye.